Hi everyone, welcome to a special edition at Countix 2024 and we've got it behind us and we're getting ready to do all the fun and make a huge difference and understand what is happening in the entrepreneur world from an account and tax perspective and how are they going to help entrepreneurs going forward. Hope you enjoy the content. Hi everyone, we're at Countex 2024. I don't know where the year's going. It is springtime and we've got the main people here at Dex, our account manager, Olivia, thank you for a few seconds. And the guy who runs Dex in the UK, Sabi. Thank you so much. I really appreciate them taking a few minutes out on the busy day and they're gonna give us some exclusive insights. You know we always get the value. I'm gonna start with Olivia. You've got a lot of stuff being our account manager. Um, you've got a lot of things that you're going to do. What's the number one thing accountants should be doing or tax advisors for their practice, with, in your opinion? With DEX at the moment? Yeah, with DEX. I would really recommend reaching out to your account manager if you've got DEX and ensuring that you're utilizing it. We're constantly coming up with new updates that people might not be aware of and that really enhances your firm's uh, efficiencies um, and, and, your, and your team and client, clients as well. It's so important to work with the account manager. I know you're going to be helping us and working with the team yep. and all the rest of it. So I always recommend, make sure you speak to your account manager, get a good side of them, because they can add huge value because time efficiencies is huge, because time is money, because that's the only real asset that you've got. I'm going to ask Sabi, because he's got some exclusives that he's going to share with us on the AI artificial intelligence side. You're mentioning about landlord yep. uh, stuff that you're going to be doing. Yeah, so one of the things we're actually doing is that as part of our product roadmap, uh, especially around some of the delays that we've seen around making tax digital. So some of the things we're concentrating on is very much landlord solutions around rental statements. We're putting a lot of stuff around um, applied AI, a lot of what we've already done. You know, AI is such a hot topic, right? But the, the interesting thing is, we've always done AI. It's the only thing, you know, 12 years, 13 years in the making. So we've had a lot more experience than most organizations. We do over, last year, 300 million transactions on our platform. Wow. Um, Zero, Sage, QuickBooks, FreshBooks, you know, we've got 38 different integrations. And what we're doing is that with all these different AI engines out there, right, and I think in the last 48 hours, they've been talking about ChatGPT before, they're just talking about all the stuff that's coming out from Google. Um, we use the same technology, so it's not as if anybody's ever gonna get ahead of us. We're going to be on a comparable basis than everybody else, but we've got far more development time and more experience of ever having used AI than anybody out there. So for us... I'll unpack some of that value, Sabi. No, so uh, much value there for the audience. And I've been a big fan, used the software for about seven, eight years. My team love it, time efficiencies. To unpack what Sabi's mentioning is how artificial intelligence, how you utilize it. Dex has always used it from the scanning software, which is been so accurate except probably the old Costa receipts can cause a problem right but it's so been accurate and it's helped us so much and it's I guess the key is how you utilize artificial intelligence from you do and the human intelligence yeah. because that is how everyone's going to be working uh, efficiently going forward and a lot of people are not thinking like this yeah, we're resting to, time on that so yeah, look, the thing to remember is that you know artificial intelligence and even technology in general is don't you there. love it <laughs> It's not there to replace anything an accountant or bookkeeper does. It's about augmentation, right? It's about taking away all of that mundane tasks that you end up doing, taking that time and then utilizing it far better, right? Whether that's for your own personal, spending more time with the family, or actually growing your practice. 
So for us, it's all about time for business, right? Efficiency, it's about making you more effective in everything that you do, whether you're an accountant, bookkeeper, or even your client yourself. I think the world is going to be changing just from doing processing, what you're talking about, I call a processing yeah. job, to adding value to the numbers, because a lot of people may have to change their skill set, especially if they're not got industry background or they don't really understand a particular industry because they're going to have to make those numbers count and understand what is driving the sales, what's driving the margin, the profitability, because historically it's spent so much time getting the numbers together. And that's where the analysis, being able to visually articulate that lead generation is going to be big and accountants best get on board with that because that's the future. You know, most businesses, zero to one million, it's all about lead gen. Yeah. Everything's downstream from that. We spend so much time, most of the time to do, is getting the numbers together. They've got to change that. That is what people are going to want. And a lot of people won't know what they uh, want unless you tell them. Because all they want to do is grow their business. They think accountant should know everything. <laughs> Even though we can be good, unfortunately we don't know everything. We need to specialize in certain things which will make the maximum impact. Getting the processes on toast, utilizing Dex, Zero, and I know I'll be speaking to Zero later, uh, and uh, other softwares, is getting that so it's actually working for you, not against you. And I think the people who are working just doing the process job, those days will be finished. That's why you've got to love Accountix. It is a busy place. Sabi, I really appreciate you adding value and giving us yeah. exclusives. I know Olivia's going to be taking care of us. I will tag you guys in. Yeah. Please do like and comment. Really Lovely. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Appreciate it. Hi everyone, Countex 2024 isn't the same unless I visit the Zero stand. I've got Ben here. Thank you, our account manager for our team for Surtax and Kundai. You got to get to know her. She knows all about the reporting insights of Zero. So I'm going to start with Ben quickly. How are you helping accountants, especially Surtax accountants, make a difference using Zero the software? Yeah. So in our team, we we help our partners at like. You get the most out of the Zero product, whether that be migration, whether that be training, implementation, whatever. Specifically with Surtax, we've done a, done a lot of work, a lot of conversations lately. Uh, we've got a quarter meeting coming up in a few weeks, trying yep. to get as many of the Surtax uh, franchisees there just to I've get along that. to share um, how we can support them, uh, share, share the opportunities that are going to be available to them going forward. L let me unpack possible. that. It's about best in practice, yeah. what benchmarking and looking at all the different ways which you guys will know because you deal with so many, exactly. you know, being the, one do, of the key softwares in the country. We do this inside of that and especially the, the, the experts in our team, like we've all worked in practice ourselves, we get the challenges. It's huge. That, that, that's what sets us apart. Like I've, I've been on the other side of the table I, and I, dealing with zero was... Ben, was funny enough, share. Ben, to drop. I feel that today more than ever yeah. uh, after some of the conversations, a bit of a disconnect from IT solution providers to this. Yeah. I think it makes a huge difference. Kundai, yes. you, you are expert on the reporting functionality and we, are, we do need to do a catch up. Yes. How are you finding the uh, AI, artificial intelligence, being uh, put into zero in the reporting? How far are we on that and what's the roadmap looking like? Um, so currently we've done quite a lot in terms of forecasting within zero. So we've got um, cash flow forecasting, which allows you to forecast your uh, cash flow position for the next 90 days. Wow. If you sign up to Zero Analytics. Right. Um, we are also working on building more of our reporting functionality so you can get more visualization. Yeah. So that's kind of what to expect from a reporting perspective. Oh, excellent. We're going to have to catch up. I know a lot of the uh, people who are watching this and the viewers are entrepreneurs. They're going to be excited that Zero are going to be doing loads of stuff. I use the cash flow quite a lot. I haven't used the forecast element. We normally been using good old Excel, but it seems like there's an opportunity there to do that. I think, team, we're going to have to be catching up. Kundai, thank you for sharing that roadmap with us. Really appreciate Kundai. You're welcome. Thank you, Ben and Avin. And I'm sure we'll be catching up on that yeah. day to day. I think you should try to be involved in that as well because so much insight there's so much value and one of the hardest things is keeping up to date with all the changes because yeah. you've got so much software isn't there it's unbelievable yeah. but they don't all do the same things Absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much guys hope you enjoyed that hi everyone accountix 2024 we've got the legend dan richards Lee, good thank to see you, you mate. and we've known dan for almost a decade i can't believe it uh, we used the app we're quite one of the forward thinking people who used the app initially and dan's got some more unbelievable uh, information and notifications. Tell us about the web chat on the app, or app chat. So app chat, that's it. So one of the things that we all saw coming out of the pandemic, which was uh, still not that very long ago now, is a wholesale adoption of digital by society. 
what that basically means is that clients couldn't see their accountants, they couldn't communicate in the normal way, so they started to communicate in the way they knew how, which is via WhatsApp, SMS, even things like Facebook messaging. Yeah. And uh, that was fine. Accountants were like, great, my clients are talking to me, and they started doing stuff. But of course, we come out of the pandemic, life tries to find its new normal, which we're well into now, and we've got challenges with it because all the risks that are created communicating that way, you, it doesn't comply with the regulators because you cannot run auditable trails on it. You end up exposing staff mobile numbers. You've got sensitive data on individual devices, and it just creates a bit of a mess, right? And stresses within a firm. And well, let's just unpack because he's given so much value. That is so true. I've just literally had a message just as we're speaking <laughs> from a client on this, and it's how we can make that life easier. And I guess that's why these guys, I love it with the technology updates. Mm -hmm how we made life easy with this app chat. Yeah, that's it, because it, it goes to, we've got to work with the existing behaviors, right? The, in whatever we do in life, if you try and push people into something that they're not ready for, or change behaviors wholesale, it's too much too fast. Yeah. Whereas you say, well, if 98% of adults, according to Ofcom, are using WhatsApp and SMSing already, and 96% of those people say they prefer to communicate transactional stuff mm. that way rather than telephone, well, work with that behavior. Yeah. Let's make it count for us. You get 98% open rates, you get three minute response times, so work with that behavior rather than chasing me, the client, for that email that is buried in my inbox that I never answer you on and it doesn't work out. So you get more productivity from the team. They don't have to use their personal phone numbers or accounts. It just all works in the firm's app environment and the firm can put account management around it. It's just simple, but the key point is working with existing behaviors. I, I think you've hit the nail on the head. That is one of the challenges, which I didn't know there was a solution. So <laughs> we will be chatting about this. I hope we've added value to the audience because this is the future or the present, but it's how do we embrace it? How do we make it work for us, not against us? Because That's you're it. right, the email just gets dropped in the inbox. And my, one half of my job is chasing people because my team haven't got through. Uh -huh. They drop me a WhatsApp, they drop me loads of different aspects, and I'm like, how do I forward this to the team? And then it's reliant on me. I get LinkedIn messages all the time, That's it. all the different social yeah, yeah, medias. LinkedIn's a good one. Right, and it's how do we embrace that? And this app chat can now to do all of this in a way the team can do it and the client. That's right, all within the firm's wow. own branded app. Wow, wow. That's an exclusive. Thank you, Dan. Z, thank I'm you, I'm really going to be good catching to up. And I'm sure a lot of people have put Dan's details in there and post them on it so you can contact him because they love adding value. They love taking technology forward and making a difference to entrepreneurs as well as account and tax advisors. Tell us about the web chat on the app or app chat. I think app you chat, it. that's it, yeah. So uh, one of the things that we've learned- Hello everyone. Um, we hope you've had a fantastic time as accountants 2024. Um, and now the show has closed. So can all visitors please make their way to the exits? I think you could do a bit more of a cheer. Come on. Hooray! <laughs> this is the blue puff. Yeah, I'll take that. Anyway, can I ask all visitors to make their way to the exits and we'll see you next year. Many thanks.